Well, hi, and welcome to another one of Wally's Hot Weekend Drives right here. And we talk about hot, we're not talking about the 110 degrees that it is right now, because believe me, you already know that. But we're gonna take a trip back into the 70s right here. The 2024 Dodge Hornet has returned. Actually, last year it returned, but this year it's a plug-in hybrid. Now, just like the 70s, what else were you doing back in the 70s? That's when the Dodge Hornet came out to start with. I'll tell you what I was doing. Acapulco Gold right here, man, that's the color. <laughs> I don't know who makes up these color names. Man, that's great, I like it. Now, if you take a look at this Dodge Hornet RT Plus Track Pack and the Black Top Edition right here. So basically, the Black Top Edition, anything that's black on here, you're gonna see from a sporty standpoint, that's what that brought to it. Now, the Track Plus, I'll tell you what, this has something very unique. First of all, this is a plug-in hybrid. Let's talk about that for a minute. Plug-in hybrid is gonna give you about 31 miles of electric only, you know, and that can be when you first start off. So say, for instance, you, you work 10 miles from home. This car will never burn any gas. You plug it in every night, perfectly able to do it, plug into the house, works great. Now, here's the cool thing. Because Dodge is known for uh, performance, and this is the replacement for the Hellcat people right here. Um, they have a nice little switch in here, and it is called Power Shot. And if you hold both of the paddle shifters back towards you and you're in sport mode, you get an extra 30 horsepower squirt at the back wheels through an electric motor that will increase uh, your acceleration, be able to get out of its own way, basically, because it is powered by a 1.3 liter turbocharged motor and four cylinder, I should say, along with the hybrid part of it. And that's actually pretty cool too, because when the battery runs out on this and the 31 miles, it is actually a real hybrid. It just doesn't disappear. Now, we're getting about 30 miles to the gallon with it, with the electric in there too. And that's more than acceptable. This is a 4,000 pound vehicle. All wheel drive does have a motor in the front and the back electric wise besides that four cylinder motor. And if you look down here, you'll see part of the track pack right here is the Michelin 20 inch tires, the 20 inch alloy wheels right here. But more importantly, since this is a hot rod and it does kind of go fast, doesn't go as fast as they say it would though. Uh, but you got four, pi four piston Brembo brakes there in the front fixed piston so it's not floating but they're Brembo if you see Brembo on, on a car you know it goes fast because they got to haul it on down so if you look here at the side mirror you're going to see it does have the signals does have your blind spot control in it just like normal and Grady if you take a peek inside here one of the cool things we're going to see is those great big giant paddle shifters we were talking about and then also if you look a little bit more down on the bottom the pedals have a nice little aluminum edging on it there along with the tilt telescopic smart steering wheel as normal. And when you look at the heated steering wheel, heated seats, and right now, that happens without even turning them on. Man, it's freaking hot out here, let me tell you. <laughs> but if you look into the back, one thing you're gonna see back here is you are gonna see a couple USB-C outlets back there. The actual seat does fold down if you need a little bit of extra room. So let's walk into the back here and see where the charging happens. In fact, let's just pop this open right here. This is where you plug in your electric charger I'm gonna show you right here that comes with the vehicle and works great with 110 on it. So if you take this right here and plug it in, just like right here, you're ready to rock. In, a, in about six or eight hours, it's gonna be one of those deals that charges up and it's ready to go for another 30 miles. Now, if you look into the back here, you're gonna see a generous amount of room because it is Wally's weekend drive. We're looking to head out on the road for sure. Fourth of July weekend, you know we're going. Uh, we're taking this with us and we're going. Now, if you look in here, not much room there because the battery's back there. So storage is a little bit shy underneath there for sure but you don't really need it. Um, that's one of the things. So if you head on out to a local Dodge dealer right here, you're gonna see MSRP on this, $54,425. Take a look at it and consider it. You might like it, you might not, but I think it rocks.